I was fascinated by Mary Jane Byrne. I didn't know much about her except that she was little. I loved the way she dressed, and she had a really intense gaze. I grew up in an underserved area, what we used to call the ghetto. And when you grow up in the hood, you learn so many different ways of storytelling. I grew up just one block away from the Robert Taylor homes, which were at the end of the Black Belt. And I grew up looking at these monolithic buildings filled with people. The society, including people that I love, said, you can't go in there, it's bad, it's dangerous. Well, why not? And it wasn't just that area, it was like all of these areas throughout the city. So the story for me began with why are people telling me that there are areas that I should not go into. In 1981, gun violence, much like today, was pretty rampant. There was a series of news reports in just a few short days that Mayor Jane Byrne heard, and she announces without any sort of plan that she was going to take residency in the most notorious housing project in Chicago, Cabrini Green. People were rooting for her. People were also jeering and mocking her. And the gesture was that she was gonna call attention to gun violence. Every play I've ever written is a dark comedy. Every play. I just wanna to try to put it under a microscope and give a dramatic presentation of how I interpreted events. But how does one individual stop gun violence? How do you motivate an entire city to stop gun violence. That's what Merrick Byrne was after. As an author, I like exploring that. I just think that there are stories everywhere. And I think that for as imperfect and ridiculous as this city can be, we are going to keep those big old shoulders and keep fighting. I don't think we'll ever be a city that gives up.